I keep saying I got burnt into it because I saw Jason Byrne, Brendan Burns and Ed Byrne and I thought, I'm gonna do this, man. Hi, my name is Papa CJ. I'm a stand-up comedian from India. I'm doing a show called Papa CJ Naked. It is at Espionage, Laughing Horse at Espionage on Victoria Street in Cowgate. 7.45 p.m. every day to the 23rd of August and it's free. That's great. Uh, and what's the subject of your show? Obviously it's called Naked. Uh -huh. Is there any nudity involved? Well, you're going to have to come and find out, won't you? Well, but yeah, there is some. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the kind of subject of your show? Well, the idea behind Naked is that as human beings, we sort of build brick walls around ourselves, which hide our deepest hopes and fears and desires. So over the course of the show, in a very funny way, I take off each of these brick walls and at the end of it uh, I expose myself with all my vulnerabilities and all my pain and it's terrifying and exhilarating at the same time but at the end of it while I am completely naked I'm also completely free. Um, and have you been to the Fringe Festival before? I've been a few times yes I yeah. have. Um, how many times have you been? This is I think my fourth or fifth although I came as a punter the first time. Okay uh, and, and that's how when was I, that? That was great that's what got me into stand-up comedy. Oh, really? I had never seen stand-up until the Fringe in 2004 and I keep saying I got burnt into it because I saw Jason Byrne, Brendan Burns and Ed Byrne and I thought I'm gonna do this man. I mean here's a guy on stage talking rubbish and that's his job. That's awesome. So yeah. Is that some sort of kind of 3B package that you could get? I have no yeah. clue what it was <laughs> but maybe they should come up with some kind of a deal like that. You should sell that to them. That's Not a bad idea. idea. Um, and so that was the first time you got an experience of stand-up comedy live? Yeah. So is, in terms of uh, India, is there not a culture of uh, stand-up comedy at all? Well, there is a culture of stand-up comedy, but it sort of started off after I moved back. So I moved back to Delhi in 2008, and in 2009 I started off the English language circuit in Delhi. And how is that now? It's amazing. It's just booming. We've got comedians coming out of everywhere. Uh, they're growing, they're getting better. Uh, there's guys doing sketch, doing improv, the works, it's, it's fantastic. And what's the difference between kind of like an Indian uh, late night audience and a, yeah. a British late night audience? Well, so... Who heckles more? That's the question. No, so you, you, there's definitely a lot more heckling here uh, in the UK. In India, they're just starting to heckle, but I tend to get heckled more than any other comedian in India. Uh, a, f a comedian friend of mine told me that's apparently because I'm asking for it. So yeah, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I, I like a lot of crowd interaction. Maybe it means you can take it though, and the crowd sees that you can take a bit of heck. Yeah, I mean, come on, after you've done the gong show in London and late in life with the Edinburgh Festival, what's an Indian audience going to throw at you? I mean, really. What's the best heckle an Indian audience has ever thrown at you? Do I need to watch my language? No, you can go ahead. Oh, all right. It's the I internet. Had, it's like international I, water. I had somebody who shouted, I f***ed your mum. <laughs> It would normally not be a good heckler, but the heckler was my dad, so... <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Um, in terms if he sees this, he's going to kill me. <laughs> you must know Edinburgh quite well now, you've been a few times. Uh -huh. If you were going to go for kind of late night food, you say it's 3am, you're starving, you're ravenous, where do you go and what do you get? I would go home and have some cornflakes and hot milk and go to bed. <laughs> so rock and roll, so rock and roll. Well thank you very much for your time. It's Not at all. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Brilliant, thanks very much.